Would you wear a suit on the job at a construction site as a welder? Would you wear fuzzy slippers to a job interview? Would you hike up the Himalayas butt ass naked? Mm. If it's not obvious, there's a time and place for everything. And you taking a selfie while taking a dump in a dim lit room, looking nasty and depressed because you submitted 500,000 job applications only to be rejected by everyone. <sighs> Contemplating life for a LinkedIn profile picture? Is not it. Long story short, here's an unfleaky way of how to take on Punto LinkedIn profile pictures. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I don't know why, but I'm feeling spontaneous and I want to exercise and record out here. Yeah. Motivation. first thing that would drastically improve your picture quality is camera. If you have a fat fancy DSLR camera, great, that's perfect. As for the rest of us, most smartphones have above average quality, so most likely your smartphone's good to go. And for those of you that don't have either, well, that's what family and friends are for. Oh, and by the way, if your camera has a focus slash portrait mode, then bonus points. <laughs> Next extremely helpful thing to have is a blood meter, also known as an honest friend, brother, sister, dog, side piece, yeah, you get it. Someone that's going to be honest and patient with you, that they're going to be able to tell you your good side and show you what's not your good side, basically, and they're not going to make you look ugly. Extra note is take a lot of pictures. Like a lot. That way you have multiple to choose from. F it's gold. Next is industry. What industry are you in? If you were a chef, it would make sense for you to wear the whole chef get up and you know have your background as a kitchen. That makes sense. But pero, pero you're transitioning from chef the drug dealer wouldn't make sense for your background to be the hood and you're in your whole chef get up you won't be taken seriously you gotta dress the part so drop your pants put on a white beater call yourself a little stooge you're professional god damn it <coughs> like it. job offers are gonna be overflowing that inbox but seriously though you can't go wrong with a light blue or white colored shirt with one button undone Brr. that's for a background you could always do a brick wall if you can find one, a blank wall, or the room that you're in, i.e. living room, bedroom, just about anywhere. Just remember to make it look like it's not your house. If in the background you see like a, some portraits, some family pictures, you might want to take them down. Just try not to make it look like your house. <laughs> and this is kind of why I recommend the portrait mode and the focus mode. Uh, like to blur out the edges uh, of your picture that way it doesn't look you can't really identify what's behind you you know what I mean? Yeah. it's super echo in here I kinda like it Next thing is lighting. If you have lighting equipment like soft boxes, umbrellas, whatnot, then skip this. But if you don't, always remember, natural lights are friends, not food. The best ones in my opinion are pictures next to windows with natural light. Uh, anywhere outside on a cloudy day, shaded areas not directly in front of the sun. You, can just, you just can never go wrong with that. You just can't. You just can't. I said you can't. I said you can't. I said you can't. And also remember, stay away from fluorescent lights, aka that, or your indoor lights in your house. Because I promise that's gonna kill your photo game.
indefinitely. Next thing is body language. Even though your profile picture is not going to be showing your whole body, it's mainly going to show your shoulders and your head. Freaking stand up. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Stand up and stand tall and proud. And for Satan's sake, please get a haircut. Take a shower. Brush your teeth. Do your makeup. Do your brows. Get a butt wax. Whatever you need in order to feel sexy. But on the real though, like all those small things matter because at first glance, everything matters. <sighs> Lastly, the only thing you have to do left is to touch up your pictures. Get a little Photoshop app and touch up any little small imperfections. Make it look great. Make a cool little blur here and there, a nice little filter. Just make sure not to go too ham and it ends up looking like a over-edited MySpace profile picture. Don't do that. Don't. Well, there you have it. Uh, if you made it through this whole video, well, congratulations, Shayla. You now have a professional looking, ready to do business profile picture for your LinkedIn. So get out there and sell some drugs. Make me proud. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it's cold out here. Go, go, go.